Now it's time to listen to the heart. Again, you'll need to go back to your stethoscope to do so. You'll want to be able to be identify the basic heart sounds. In normal people and normal children, you'll hear an S1 and S2, or the typical lub-dub that we talk about in the heart. S1 indicates the closing of the AV valve, whereas S2 is the closing of the semilunar valves. Here, you'll want to take a listen to your patient's chest. Listening to the heart takes a lot of practice, and the most important thing for you to be able to do is identify abnormalities in which you can bring to the attention of the team for further investigation. As stated, the S1 and S2 are the two normal heart sounds, and we'll, we want to be able to be sure that we hear those noises. However, as you move forward, you might hear an S3 or an S4. S3 can be normal and is sometimes heard in small, small children. This is usually heard at the apex of the heart, and it can be also identified as a gallop, you may hear some people refer to it. This can be normal, but again, always, always bring this to the attention of a provider if it's a new finding. S4 is a concerning finding and is usually identified at the atrial contraction portion of the heart pumping cycle. It is a low frequency sound and can often indicate severe hypertension or a potential cardiomyopathy. Some other abnormal heart sounds you may want to be aware of is a pericardial friction rub. This may sound sort of like if you took a piece of hair and rubbed it between two fingers and listened to it. This is concerning as well as it could indicate that there's a pericardial effusion or it could develop after a pericardiotomy. The final thing you'll want to be aware of is a murmur. This often indicates that there's some sort of a opening or connection between two of the chambers in the heart. That or it can indicate an abnormal valve function. Again, either way, a murmur should be brought to the attention of the care team in order to best diagnose and treat the problem.